Stable Diffusion 2.2 XL is now live in preview and you can try it out right now. And the humans when you scan your air load and this is not a drill. You can now try out the three new Stable Diffusion models inside the Dream Studio website. Now before we begin, I need to make something very clear. This is not an official launch. There hasn't been any official announcement from Stability AI. Everything that I'm going to show you here is something that I discovered completely by accident by preparing another video. That's right, this video is a complete accident, which is something that is very important to keep in mind because the result that you will see today will not be representative of the final models. Because all of these models are currently still in training, everything that you will see right here are just from the current preview models. But having said that, thanks to my little discovery, we now have a little bit more information on the future stable diffusion models. Because in the Dream Studio website, if you click on models, you will see now three different Stable Diffusion 2.2 XL models. The Stable Diffusion 2.2 XL, the Stable Diffusion 2.2 XL Tiling, and the Stable Diffusion 2.2.2 XL Beta. Wow, what a mouthful. So what exactly do they mean? What exactly is the difference between them? Is the 2.2 XL even good? Well, how about we test it out? So in this video, I'm going to be very quickly comparing the 2.2 XL models against the 2.1 and the 1.5. And also, I will show you what exactly you can expect for the future stable diffusion models and how the images made by those models will look. Now keep in mind also that those preview models currently on the website can only generate images of 512 by 512 resolution. So I'm not going to be able to generate super high resolution images, at least right now. Oh, and also if you want to try it out yourself, you can go to the Dream Studio website, purchase a thousand credits for $10, which will basically give you around 5,000 images to generate, which is, yeah, uh, more than enough, I think. Okay, so let's start by trying out the 2.2 XL model with a very simple prompt, portrait of a beautiful woman smiling wearing a green dress with a busy city in the background. And if I click on Dream, I get something like this, which is, uh... Well, not, not great, I gotta say. You can even see like a shutterstock type of watermark in one of the images. The face is a little messed up. The hands doesn't really look that great. So I gotta say, nothing really impressive. But again, as I said, this is just a preview model. Maybe that the model that they have right now in the Dream Studio website is a very, very early model which is why the images don't really look that good. Because now, for example, if we compare it to the 2.1, and I click on Dream, with the same parameters, same prompt, it also gives us some pretty bad images. And we all know that the Stable Diffusion 2.1 is actually not that bad if you know how to use it. So again, my own testing are not representative of the final models. Because again, don't forget that these images, for example, are generated with the 1.5. And again, we all know how powerful the 1.5 is when you know how to use it. So now if I generate generate the same images with the 2.2 XL tiling model, I get images like these, which are actually a little bit better than the 2.2 I feel, a little bit more photorealistic, there is a little bit more details, but again the differences between the 2.2 XL model and the 2.2 XL tiling are really not that big. But now if I take the 2.2.2 XL beta and I click on Dream, now I get images that are a little bit different. They're definitely a little bit more aesthetic and more pretty than the 2.2 XL models. And that is because I think that the 2.2.2 XL beta model is actually a special stable diffusion aesthetic model. Because for example, if I choose the 2.2 XL model and I put something like cute cat and I click on dream, I get just some very random pictures of cats, really nothing exceptional, really nothing to write home about. If I choose the 2.2 XL tiling and again I click on dream, again very similar looking images, I don't really see a lot of differences. However, if now I choose the 2.2.2 XL beta model and I click on dream, lo and behold, what do we have here? Well, 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 this is definitely a little bit more interesting now, is it? Now, the difference in quality in style is completely different. This is a whole nother level. This is basically mid-journey level of aesthetic. And I think that the result that you see right here is probably a little bit more closer to what we can expect in the future from those models. Now, I might be wrong, but I think that maybe the 2.2 XL model will be a general stable diffusion model that can be used and trained for pretty much anything. Then you have the stable diffusion XL tiling model, which could be maybe a model specialized more into photorealism. And then we're gonna have a stable diffusion 2.2 aesthetic model. 
which would be probably a model that could potentially generate images that are very close to what you can get right now in Mid Journey. Now again, as I said, these models are still in preview. I have absolutely no idea what kind of model they're actually putting right here in preview since they are still in training. But for some reason, when you input, for example, a cute dog with the 2.2.2 XL beta model, you get some very aesthetic looking images, very close to a digital painting and same with a cute cat. However, if I put something like cute woman and I click on dream, so now I don't really get any of that. I don't get that digital painting feel. I don't get that digital painting style. I just get some aesthetic photorealistic images. So now my question is, can it actually do celebrities or just like me journey, they have completely deleted celebrities from the data set. Well, if I now choose my uh, beloved Christina Hendricks, and yes, I know it's been a long time. And if I click on Dream, well, lo and behold, there she is. And actually, I gotta say, I think that these are the best Christina Hendrick images generated from a stable diffusion model. Because now if I choose, for example, the 2.1 and I click on Dream, yeah, I mean, not, not even close. And now if I choose the 1.5 and I click on Dream, again, it's not bad, but the 2.2 was definitely better. And with the 2.2 Excel tiling, if I click on Dream, now again we're back on better representation. I still don't really see a lot of differences between the 2.2 Excel and the 2.2 Excel tiling, so I'm really waiting for the official models to come out with the explanation. And now if I choose the aesthetic model, if I click on Dream, ah, now it's interesting, I actually don't get Christina Hendricks now. Because yeah, this is definitely not her. So yes, again, the images are a little bit more aesthetic, but this is definitely not Christina Hendricks. So I think that the 2.2.2 XL beta model is maybe gonna be trained like the stable diffusion of Adobe Firefly, using copyright free images without any celebrity photos, but it will be fine tuned for a more aesthetic style. So, do the hands look better in the new stable diffusion models? Well, apparently not. Well, again, at least on the preview models that I have right now. Again, I really want to preface this, these are not the official final stable diffusion models. These are just previews. And I'm not even sure that these models are supposed to be on the website. So yes, again, everything that you see here you need to take with a grain of salt. These are not the official models, these are just preview models. The stable diffusion 2.2 XL is still training, and from the images that I've seen, they certainly look better than these. So if you actually want a real preview on what the future models are capable of, well, here's a few examples. So here's an example of a few images generated with the 2.2 Excel model that are, well, definitely better than what we saw in the preview. So again, if you want a better representation of what the future images generated with those 2.2 Stable Diffusion Excel models will look like, well, these are definitely a little bit closer to the truth. And as you can see here, actually, I was indeed correct. There will be indeed three completely different Stable Diffusion Excel models. A Stable Diffusion Excel, Stable Diffusion Excel Tiling, and a Stable Diffusion Excel Aesthetic. Now, I definitely understand the Stable Diffusion Aesthetic one, but I'm not quite sure what is the difference between the Stable Diffusion Excel and the Tiling one. So again, I just made this quick video just to let you know that the Stable Diffusion 2.2 are coming. They are in preview right now. So again, every single images that you see right here are absolutely not representative of the final models that will be released officially. But this preview at least gives us a little look of what the final models will look like. And personally, I'm actually very interested in the 2.2 XL aesthetic model because I think that this model will be definitely the closest model that we've had to an actual free alternative to the mid-journey model. Because for example, if I generate something like New World Order, with the 2.2 Excel model, I get images like these, really nothing interesting. If I took the 2.2 Excel tiling and I click on Dream, I get again very similar looking images, really nothing impressive. However, if now I choose the 2.2 Aesthetic model and I click on Dream, well, what do we have here? We definitely have something very different, because the prompting for this model is definitely way different from any stable diffusion model that we've had so far. Because just by inputting new world order, this model understood the context behind it and created this kind of very apocalyptic looking images in this very aesthetic comic style, which again looks very close to what you can get from something like Mid Journey. So I'm gonna close this video by reminding you again, if you are a little disappointed by the results that you see right here, it is absolutely fine. Because one, 
these are preview models, these are not the final models that will be released, and two, every single model that you see right here will be made even better by the community. Because uh, yeah, don't forget that initially this is what the 1.5 looked like. Because now we have hundreds of models trained by the community on the 1.5 that look better than anything the 1.5 could ever do. So yeah, I'm definitely waiting for the 2.2 to come out because it's going to be very exciting. And there we have it, folks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Thank you also to my Patreon supporters for supporting my videos. You guys are absolutely awesome. You guys are the one who supports me so I can make these videos for you. So thank you so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.